The use of magic mushrooms in clinical therapy is something scientists are studying around the country. The Department of Health says the natural psychedelic is found in more than 200 species of mushrooms. Now there's a push in New Mexico to allow a group to study them here as well. Here's News 13's Natalie Wattis to explain. Psilocybin is currently a Schedule 1 drug in the Federal Controlled Substances Act. The FDA recently deemed it a breakthrough therapy. House Bill 393 wants to create an eight-person advisory group that would study the feasibility of a program right here in New Mexico. Our hope as a society is to achieve passing legislation to fund this bill for a governor-appointed working group to study the feasibility in establishing a culturally competent, ethically sound and safe training program for professionals to treat certain mental health conditions using psilocybin as the medicinal application for psychedelic assisted therapy. Proponents cite studies done at Johns Hopkins, UCLA, Washington University, NYU and UNM in the use of psilocybin to treat things like PTSD, addiction and depression. Experts spoke about the rise in mental illness and related deaths in the state and said to stop further study of this drug could lead to missed opportunities. Their study published in JAMA found 71% of patients experienced a clinically significant response which is an improvement that lasted at least four weeks after, and 54% met the criteria of total remission by having um, uh, psilocybin therapy. I actually support this bill, um, so thank you for bringing it forward. The bill requires the advisory group to create reports on how feasible a psilocybin treatment program would be to treat certain mental health disorders. Now, this bill passed the House Health Committee unanimously and now heads to House Appropriations. Back to you. Lawmakers are asking for $150,000 to get the advisory group started. If this passes, their final findings report would be due at the end of 2025.